Before starting this video, I have to say a big thank you to everybody that watched the last video on the Strong Close ebook. It is the best video I've done this year, in Man 21 at least. And it really overwhelms me the type of feedback that I've got. I really appreciate every one of you guys that commented on the video, that watched the video, that maybe even made this their scheme. I don't know how many guys actually want to run this, but for those that want to run it, this is going to be the perfect video for you because this was my first weekend league running strong close and I have to say I'm kind of I'm kind of annoyed at myself because what look watching back some of the games uh, all of them were streamed on my twitch link to that is in the description if you guys want to be there next year next year next week I mean uh, and I made some pretty dumb mistakes like really bad mistakes I'm gonna break some of them down in this video this is for the guys that want to run this as the scheme some of the mistakes that I made early on I want to make this video so you guys don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. Very important. Watch the whole video. Some lot, lot of very, I think, beginner mistakes for the scheme are in there. And if you want to run this, you're probably going to make those mistakes that I made. So, with that being said, let's get into it. I appreciate everyone that watched the video on the Strong Close ebook. They gave me good feedback. Really spent some time on it, and it's a good video. Thanks, to, uh, thank you guys so much. And yeah, let's get into the highlights. First game in this video, I'll be breaking down two games. In this video this first game i gotta say i'm pretty proud of it i feel like i played a decent game the second one not so much if you really want to learn the second game is going to be where it's at this game is kind of it's just me running this scheme pretty nicely right there i actually stripped so that's not what i wanted he beat me on the post because i took the deep zone away that's actually one thing that i'm very annoyed by because i know that post is really good and i just didn't i just didn't cover it second and ten right here already at my 26 he's running the ball and yeah, I, I don't know, kind of bad stick. I'm really labbing some trip side end defense. I don't really have any. I'm pretty annoyed by that. Trip side end is what a lot of people are running on me, and I just can't seem to stop it. Right there, once again, running. Uh, smacking the tackle, though, on the four-yard line. He's going to kick the field goal. Pretty nice. Good stop by me. I let him into the red zone. I let him actually very deep into the red zone. Uh, that's what she said. Right down to about the four-yard line. Didn't get anything past that, though. Right there, a very good read by me that it was a man beater. He was he's just gonna be running this man coverage. I know that. I remember that from editing the game. Third and eleven right here. I really have to make a good read. And what do I do? What do I do? Right there, it's just about me not throwing a pick, thank God. Um I was just playing defense right there. I tried to swerve so that he couldn't get anything going for it though. Fourth and eleven on my opponent's 37. I really have to get this right here. I'm getting lucky because he passed in fear me. There was nothing open on that play. He just PI'd me. Or not really PI, he, what was it, like, um, holding or something, illegal contact, yeah, thank you. So, just got lucky there, was nothing open. I got bailed a little bit, right there, thrown it to the flat. Simmons making the tackle, but at the five-yard line, second quarter is about to uh, end. And I really get just lucky here, right there, I spammed X, I didn't want to do that, didn't want to throw it to X right away. But we got the touchdown, so can't be mad at it. Uh, still second quarter. He's got a touchdown right here on the post. He throws the cross route though, which is crossing route, which is still number 25 or, or 25 yard line. Kicks the field goal. Now I'm only up one point after playing some pretty rough defense. Not gonna lie. Trip side end re uh, defense is not really looking good right now. Right there, he just leaves the running back wide open. Throw it over his head. Um, Tyron Matthew is not gonna jump that much, so I felt pretty safe throwing that. Third and three right here, passing the ball. Very tight window for the post, but I fit it in. You guys really have to be on point with your reads, it seems. A lot of people are catching on what, uh, on to what to do. Right there, catching the ball. But just to finish the thought, a lot of people are catching on how, on how, catching on to how to guard uh, strong close because it seems like more and more people are running it right there. Nothing is open. Pretty good defense by me. It's one yard right there. Um, so it seems like you really have to be on point with your reads. I really had to be on time. A lot of the times this game I wasn't, so that's why this game is close. Right there, it takes the hitch for a couple of yards. First down, moving the sticks. Second and ten right here, I'm playing really funky defense. Uh, nothing is open pretty much. He throws it right at me, and I'm going to look at this right here in slow-mo. I click on just a second too late. That is pretty frustrating right there. You see the ball gets caught, and then right after I'm clicking on. If I click on a little bit faster there, I just didn't think he was going to throw it. But if I click on faster there... Maybe I get a pick that seems like it was within Sam Mills's reach. So yeah, what can you do right there playing pretty good defense? I fall down. That is frustrating. That is frustrating. I feel like I, I might have gotten there with an acrobat, but what can you do? He runs the ball. He's in the red zone and he just rolls almost into the end zone. Now I'm taking the timeout. Why am I taking timeout? Because I want time. It seems like he's gonna score right here, which he does. So I just need time to make sure I still have a chance to get a score. 
Two point, two, uh, two point conversion is gonna go for it. I'm not playing past defense right here. I don't know why I did. Um, very risky of me, but we get the stop. Thank God he's kicking it off normally. And now I'm gonna show you every single run because I'm just running the ball here. I want to take his timeouts away. And with how good the runners is here, maybe I'll break one. Now, right there, I'm going to a pass just to really confuse him. And right there, it seems like he might have had a chance at that. I don't know. At the time of throwing it, I, feel, I felt pretty comfortable throwing it. It didn't seem like there was going to be too much risk involved. But now looking back, if he doesn't click off accidentally, maybe, maybe he has a chance with that pick. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm running the ball here. I got the first, and now I'm running the ball. And now I'm running the toss because I want to uh, just run back, take as much time off the clock as possible. And right there. On the punt which is going to come on the next play you can't see it but i'm doing a sky kick to make sure that i take as much time off the clock as possible got four seconds left and that punt is going to be out of bounds no time left just to ensure that he doesn't get a chance uh at a bread drive so or not really a drive but only a play now second game right here this is against you jake you gk my bad and i gotta say i'm no i'm spoiling i'm spoiling this game right here uh, I'm pretty frustrated with how I played. Pretty much pretty frustrated about their very bad run defense. I don't know what I was doing there. He gets to, my, to the 46 pretty cheaply, like without doing anything. First and 10 now at the 46. He runs play action right there. I'm back with my user. And if you guys see that the post was going to be in touchdown, he probably still would have been a touchdown if he had thrown it. Doesn't throw it, does, uh, throws the crosser. Still for a lot of yards, so pretty bad defense again. Right there, I have to cover the crosser because, again, that might have been a touchdown had I not gone back there to use it. So, pretty sus defense right there on this drive already. Second and goal now, he goes to five wide, and this is a pretty bad mistake, not gonna lie. Like, that was not open. Uh, Legereus Sneed uh, Sneed picks the ball off, takes it back, 4-6. That guy's fast. If you guys haven't, got, haven't gotten him yet, you should please get him. He's, he's a beast. Uh, I think 95 speed, very, very nice. Very good cornerback. Very good budget cornerback, too. I think he, he costs like 100k with his power up. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. Right there, very bad stick by me. He gets all the way to the 49 yard line, still in his territory. Third and 11, right here. He goes uh, five wide again. Get clicked down to my D line. But I make, I use it about as well as you can with the D line. Get the sack. Now, right there, fourth and 19, I see him. He's going to go for it. Now, at that point, I thought, okay, I have this game in the bag. He's not going to get that at all. I just have to. Uh, not make a mistake, be, have a good user, just use everything that goes to the first down, and then we should be golden. Fourth and 19, very slim odds of picking it, picking it up. He throws it to the tight end, and he almost got it, uh, knocking the ball out. So right there, I think that this game is over. He's still running his man coverage. I feel like I can beat that. Throw the slant. Now I'm a little bit short of the first down. I'm not really happy with that possession catch. Maybe I could have could gotten something. Right there, I'm contemplating whether to go for it or not. Take the field goal. Because that is smart at the turnover on downs you want to get points you want to make sure you extend your lead because i basically stole a possession from him right there we shed the run but he gets a lot of yards very bad user by me i was just looking for the uh po didn't actually didn't actually think he was gonna run it there but he ran it first and ten now he runs the wheel rather of verticals good pass to the tight end and right there i'm just missing attack he's breaking attack and he's in my, at my 37 and i feel like he Hasn't shown me anything on offense, but still he's got many yards right there. He gets to the outside, and that is very frustrating. You guys are going to see me at the face cam. Now they're reacting. Looks like I'm having a spasm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I just get into it, and that was, like, pretty frustrating. Going for hit sticks, which I don't know what, why I'm doing that. Um, that actually cost me quite a bit right there. Very bad play by me. I just get bailed. Yeah, this was a bad play. One thing that I would definitely mention is if you're running against someone who is... Uh, playing uh, man coverage and he's usering over the top just run crossing routes don't run these man uh, cover on beaters right there very bad pass i gave him to him right the next play so kind of deserved very bad play by me the, the first time and also this was a very bad play third and seven now i get clicked onto the d-line again he throws the in route and rogers come he just goes crazy you see me right there and uh, the face cam i was pretty surprised i didn't expect him to catch that at all acrobat just went crazy that was a deep half at the 30 yard line now i'm trying to get some points ideally seven i get the protection i get shedded and i just can't fit in the angle i'm gonna call it timeout right here because it's important to preserve the clock in that spot so i still have some plays fourth and goal don't get anything though gotta kick the field goal up six points now and i'm getting the ball which is pretty nice so second and ten at my 25 i'm just gonna throw it to the running back if you're fullback if, not, if you're not gonna cover him he misses that tackle very nice i thought he was maybe gonna click on to dion 
Anyways, I break the tackle still. Almost got in for a touchdown. Pretty good play by Reggie Bush. I was like, go crazy. Um, he went crazy. I had the post right there. Should have, should have probably thrown it. Still in the red zone now. I get down all the way to the six yard line. Second and goal. Dropping back to pass for some reason. I felt like I might have had something. Still, uh, play is going on, and I do that. That was, yeah. Um, I was editing this video, and I was really frustrated. Like I was cringing right there, right there. Very annoying. Also, that Bo Jackson takes such a terrible angle. He gets like 50 more yards because he takes a terrible angle. But nevertheless, should have never thrown that pass. Should have just taken my yards and stayed calm. Right there, I run commits because I know that Gun Wing has uh, is only in the Ravens playbook, and that has QB power. Just gonna do that. He comes out in. Uh, spread formation anyways we knock it down i was really surprised um kevin Ma maya i think uh, made that play because he doesn't have that great of zone coverage and he just he went crazy there thank you so much um i have the crosser i just i don't have him it looks like i have him because the crosser beats man but he had a curl flat right there and i had to pass lead it up i would have gotten it over the cloud flat over the curl flat i mean but if i pass lead it up then dion is gonna make a play on it I felt like I could get it in there. I, I don't know what I was doing. I basically gifted him two possessions and right there he converts for a touchdown. Very annoying. I played a pretty good game up, up until this point. Before the interception, uh, before the two interceptions, I played a pretty good game. Right there, we're in the fourth quarter. Two minute warning. We have to get three points at least. I feel pretty confident. Third and one right here after taking the option. I see this land. His user's going down, but I can still fit it in. So. Very smart of me, I feel like, to go to trips at end because I hadn't shown him this all game. And this is the play of the game. Uh, at the 50-yard line, I need about 50 more yards for field range, and I do that. Yeah, that's going to be a pick six. I don't know what happened there. That's 95 speed uh, Marquise Brown against Marlon Humphrey. I don't know how fast Marlon Humphrey is, but he just caught up. I mean, I had, a two, I had about two yards, and he just beat him at a foot race. Yeah, what can you do? Now I'm down 8 points, which is pretty tough. I'm trying to extend the play right here. Maybe get someone open, get a crazy route bounce. And you will see, Square, he beats his man. Terry McLaurin, I appreciate you, guy, my guy. Uh, get it over top of Dion. I don't know what I was doing there. I was wasting like a second. Nevertheless, getting the 6, now I got to get the 2. I'm coming on strong close. I have a very bad play call, maybe. I thought I might have gotten... I might have had the tight end. I didn't, though. Right there, fullback wing. Oh, not gun wing. I run commits. He throws it over the top. GG's. This game is pretty much over. Uh, I decided in the stream that this was going to be the last game of the stream. So I just kept on playing. Wanted to see if I can get something going. Not too much up, on this, up until this point. Third and 13. Um, I have a beater right here. He just used it. Good job by his user. Very smart. Not giving anything up. 18 seconds left. Yeah, this is pretty much a dead loss, dead loss position. I'm just going for a slant to get a first down and then maybe get some more guys, get out of bounds, get a field goal. And maybe if I get lucky, I'll get a, I'll get an onside kick. Who knows? Corner out on circle. Right there, I'm going to throw it to him. Get out of bounds. So far, so good. Going to kick the field goal right here uh, because I have to. <laughs> There's no chance. If I go for a touchdown right here, then I'll have uh, exactly one or two seconds left to get an onside kick. So very dumb. And I'm not even guaranteed to get a touchdown. So I'm going to kick the onside kick. Uh, maybe you can get lucky, who knows, uh, TGL, I'm not in TGL, so you guys know, I'm not gonna get it, yeah, very frustrating, I was very mad at myself, because I, I didn't have to throw that drag, you can see me punching the chair, I was crying like a, like a little baby, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was a pretty bi bad, uh, big bitch, uh, in that stream, I was pretty pissed, so, just slapping, uh, just slapping the fucking chair, very frustrating, he actually, Ran a play right there. I just cut it off because I I couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Very bad play. Very bad game at the end of the video. What I would say is definitely be more patient than I was in that last video. I feel like you should watch that last game some more times and really just don't do anything that I did during that game. I made very many bad reads. I was lucky to be, even be in the position to choke the game. But then, of course, I choked it with a dumb pick and another dumb pick and no run defense and... He had then another dumb pick, so I think I threw uh, all in all four picks in that game. Very, very bad. This offense is better than four picks. If you guys haven't seen it, haven't watched the video yet, then please do. See you in the next video. Appreciate the support you've been showing me the last couple of days. And see you in the next video. Bye.